All right, new project in the shop. It's my buddy Rick. And this is what we have. Doodle bug. All right, yeah. so I see you got the mini bike in the shop you're talking about. Hey, Rick, what's up, man? How we doing, man? Yeah, good. So, small table. To me, it looks like a big project. <laughs> I'm gonna try to stay out of the way a little bit, but you know, All I'll right. come in and help here and there, whatever. It looks like I might have to do a little grinding and some, yeah, maybe they... a little welding. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we want the handlebars to stay on, we'll fix that. So, this is just a project you picked up a couple months ago. It had yeah. a crappy motor in it, and we're gonna rebuild the whole thing? Yep, we got a uh, brand new uh, Predator 212, and that's the Hemi head version. Okay. Ryan's got the Torque Converts, the 30 series, and of course you got a new motor plate, and got some really nice new wheels and tires for it. Man, that motor plate is, look at that thing. That <laughs> thing is, <laughs> we, that should hold. I guess it's because you're putting a Hemi in there. Yeah. Right. Well, they originally had an I-beam that they cut one of the ears off on it. I think that's a bit of a joke there, too. <laughs> yeah. All yeah, right, well. The torch won't take care of it. Let's get this thing going, and I'll, uh, I'll, be, I'll be back here and there. Have okay. fun. See you. All right, let's get this bad boy apart. <laughs> cut uh we're gonna cut this other piece out of here too then huh yeah this old no problem get rid of that yeah, old yeah, chunk of it too it's kind of cool it has this tube across i didn't realize that so that way we can right. set that other piece right the on there the thing is the, the length of it though which well we can chop it off I mean, that thing's probably too too long anyways yeah. we'll just set the motor in there figure out what we need and where we need it and then <laughs> Just let it burn. <laughs> All right, we got more to cut. Cut up, cleaned up, now we're getting ready to grind. Don't forget your safety glasses. Come up all the original layers of paint. And yellow, blue, red. Yeah. Use some paint stripper on the whole thing, get all that cleaned off. But 
Let's mock everything up and put it together and make it oh, run. Yeah, today's just getting it rolling and running kind of day. Yeah, Ten bolts, take it back apart. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Clean off the table in there. Yeah. Get it all cleaned up. Yeah, it looks like a million bucks now. Yeah, me and Rick were just kind of hanging out there. And... <laughs> you work pretty good. I am, yeah. You're a good worker. I, I, uh, I can get the job done. Thanks, I appreciate the help. <laughs> <laughs> this thing, I mean, that plate that was in there. It's some hokey, very hokey. Crazy, this, but I, can't, that's, I still can't believe how thick this thing is. It's like quarter inch steel. Yeah, that's gonna stiffen up the frame. <laughs> yeah. But I think we're just gonna end up having to cut this to shift the engine forward to get that converter and all to fit. But I mean, it, look at it, man, that fits nice and flat right there. That's, that's gonna be pretty nice. I mean, like seriously nice, huh? I mean, actually even for as far as fabric work goes, there's not a lot, just. Whack that off on the bandsaw. I think we're going to be okay. Nice. Cool. Let's do it. Yeah. We've got to get the wheel on there now. Fit that and get everything lined up. Get yeah. the motor lined up. It's heavy. Hold that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so this little project's coming along pretty good. Rick's got the uh, core converter and all kind of mocked up right here. We, got, we had to figure out what spaces we need in there. Ryan's got the, the motor plate cut down a little bit so we can adjust it in where it needs to go because you got to line the the uh, the sprocket up with the chain and all that. Yeah, it's going to fit this, good. To me, this is the coolest thing I've seen in a while. I'm not, I'm not a mini bike business or go-kart business, but it's a, they call it a torque converter. Instead of the old school where you have like a chain going to a little clutch pack, it's it's kind of like a golf cart where it just runs a regular old, it looks like a little mini golf cart belt. It goes in there, it's like a, like a CVT, right? Yeah, it's basically a CVT transmission in a sense. Right, so. We got gears. It's got gears. <laughs> it's got gears. <laughs> It'll be a lot smoother to ride. That's Always sure. smoother, and they grab a lot harder than those old centrifugal clutches. Right. Yep. You're not gonna hit it, feel the pistons hitting. <laughs> right. So this is the Type 30. I'll put links in the description for everything we used here, and you can check them out yourself. But uh, basically, we just the work from point now, we got a get some Loctite in there, a couple spacers, and bolt it on. We're gonna go ahead and test fit our motor on this motor plate we got from Go Power Sports here. I shortened it up so that the tire would fit. We're still probably gonna have to shift it forward, but I honestly don't know what to expect here. So this will be our first shot. I'll let Rick grab that motor. A little heavier with the torque converter on it. Yeah, buddy. Look at this. All right, well, we gotta come back. We're gonna have to cut this piece out here. That's, yeah, that's uh, going to have to come out for sure. I'm thinking everything else is looking pretty good. This gas cap is probably going to be an issue. What this here? But, yeah, well, if it goes in a little bit more, we might be okay. You might not be able to change the belt out without lifting the motor, but I don't think that's a big deal either. But let's go ahead and cut this out. And we yeah, have to get, do that and get that out of the way. Out of the way. Let's try to see what happens then. All right. Let's get something to cut. All right. Oh, okay. here we go.
Okay, this time it's gonna work. Well, I think that's close. We need to put the engine on now. That'll keep it kicked up a little bit so we don't hit the clutch over here. Now you know this is heavy, right? I don't feel it. I bet you don't. Hold it. One more second. All right. That's one. <laughs> Can you hold it still? <laughs> You're going to be wearing this motor in a second. <laughs> Brake, right? Then, then the gas, and then put oil and gas in it. Seat. I want a seat. Yeah. Think somebody's gonna stop you? Yeah, <laughs> 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 yeah. It's like um. <laughs> So Ryan's got the plate all welded up. Yes, I do. And uh, this might be the second to the last time the motor goes in for the mock-up. And uh, that's it. Hopefully it stays in after this. We'll make the chain now and uh, just paint paint the frame around it. We'll, we'll take it back <laughs> apart later and paint everything. But we'll mock everything up so we know it's going to work. But, uh, put the motor in, make the chain, and then we'll work on the, the, the brake. Yes, we gotta have brakes. And then the throttle, put some gas and we'll pop some wheelies. <laughs> Just got done fabricating the caliper bracket for this here uh, slotted rotor. It's a high speed rotor, obviously. So uh, what we're gonna do is just weld it on it. Obviously it was out here before, but the new rotor is so, so massive that we had to shift the whole caliper out. Get it to fit right. It's gonna be good. So we'll go ahead and weld this on there. A lot of weld because we're gonna have a lot of stopping force going on here. So let's get that done and see how it looks. Second to the last thing, we'll put the throttle cable back on. This was on it before, so theoretically, it still work. I'll push me around and figure out where it's got to go to the carburetor. Mm -hmm. it's from the back side, so hopefully we have enough room there. Ah. My bad, I'm going the wrong side. It goes over there. Oh, that key just got a hand on it. I want the seat to be a little crooked. Because then you go crashing and then when I beat you on the Honda, you'd be blaming it on because I mounted the seat crooked. All 
right, we're gonna use this here uh, laser beam because I know everybody's got laser beam at their house. I'm gonna <laughs> line up these sprockets. I can't tell if you can see it. You can see it. But man, I can see it. And I'm telling you right now, that is pretty damn straight. Look at that. Right on. Oh, oh yeah. My, my eye's a little more accurate than this laser, but. <laughs> 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 we'll call it good. <laughs> and that's falling right on the link too. That's perfect. Right. You sit out a little bit. still got room to tension yeah. it. And it ain't, it's in a good spot. No good on the belt right here, right? The bottom of the converter. Uh, oh, we got about. We got enough to play. And actually, let's check. Let's move the metal forward. Okay. And make sure if we do have to tension it, it still clears. It might not be a little too tight. I think you got a little too snug. That would work right there. Put your loose. Yeah. Oh, here, hold that. Hold that. That's it. And we probably got a half inch, maybe a quarter inch adjustment from there. Yeah. Okay. Do that. So I'll pop that one. Yep. Got it. Let me take one of these big bear brakes off of the Camaro real quick. <laughs> 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 so one tip when doing these master links a lot of people can't figure out why they're throwing their chains when they throw a new master link on you got to make sure that the closed end goes in the same direction that your chain is going to travel if you end up doing it backwards with the open clip that way you're pretty much guaranteed to throw your chain constantly <laughs> Okay, I am so excited. We got the bike all together. The doodle bug is on the road. This thing is a blast. Oh my god! A couple it, little minor things left, but Rick, how's it? Does it fit you pretty good, or it's a little small, but I, I mean, <laughs> it's a whole lot of fun, though, man. <laughs> Definitely need some foam on there. Though. My, my rear end took a hell of a beating on that thing. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully, we got it on the, the little camera, but oh, uh, yeah. we'll see. And. Uh, yeah, I think we're at the race for you. The handlebar, handlebar is about another six inches or so. <laughs> yeah, we were thinking maybe doing a riser setup on there, but we're not sure yet. Yeah, it was, it was fun. It was kind of kind of different. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. I've never worked on a mini bike ever. It's one day's worth of just playing around. <laughs> really and, a full days. Yeah. yeah. No, just yeah. messing around. It was. I had a blast. This was so much fun. Anybody got a mini bike to put together? do it well, we'll we'll put all the <laughs> we'll put all those uh parts in the description as much as we can of what this was and uh be sure to subscribe and we don't always do mini bike stuff we mostly do volkswagen stuff because ryan's the volkswagen god and we're going <laughs> to be that. building some other cool stuff coming up real soon so oh yeah cool mini bikes are cool i'm gonna ride it now careful <laughs> Ha 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 ha!